Hello and welcome back to Tech It. So I'm going to show you how to make a wrench, um, which is used to remove these to these uh, machines here. If you want to move them or something, um, if you break them with a pickaxe, it will give, leave you just a gutted machine block, and that's not what you want because you want the block back, you want the machine back. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you need to do first is get some copper. Um, I'm going to take six. Six is a good number. I'm going to put that in the macerator. So that's going to give you 12 dust. Um, we also need some tin. Which is, you know, made from tin. So let's get that. Let's get three of those. Should be enough. So I'll get this all smelted. I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so now we've got those. What you need to do is take them to the crafting table. And you're going to put, you can use your normal 4x4 if you wish, um, but this is the way I'm going to do it. So you put three copper in an upside down owl, tin next to it, and it gives you the dust. Now I'm going to use all of these. So that's eight. Now you put these in the cooker, and it will give you eight bronze bars. Bronze bars is what we need to make the wrench. You'll find as well, once you start, um, you know, Macerating all the stuff you get, a t you need a ton more room in your uh, chests. Sort it by the buttons up here as well. So yeah, nice and neat now. So there's two bars. We need um, eight, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. Sorry. <laughs> so it's three. So look, I just thought I showed this as well. Ten. So you know, search for anything. Look at the different things. You have a tin ore, tin ore, tin ore, sorting machine, automatic crafting tables we're getting to as well, tin ingots, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff, just from uses of tin. Oh, E, Herobrine, um, so five, six, there we go, I'll let that cook as well. So to make a wrench, you just make a wrench pattern, that's it. Ta-da, you get a wrench. This does have a uh, lifespan. So you can't just use it willy-nilly. So to take it off, you just right-click. And you'll get the machine back rather than the block. Just the block. So there you go. Um, so I'm going to make this house bigger. So I'm going to use marble, I think. Um, I've got enough. Put all this crap in the chest. I shouldn't call it crap because it's not. It's very advanced stuff. Um... So yes, so should we have, you know, we've got the two different textures. I think we'll use the bricks. Bricks are good. So I'm going to grab my pick and get to work on this house. You will, um, you know, I will make this video speed it up so you don't have to watch, watch me painfully make this. So yes, <laughs> I'm back in a moment, guys.
So there you go, guys. This is a little house I've built. Um, obviously, you guys have got a lot more time to do it than I have um, as I'm recording it. So you can, you know, do it to your heart's content. But I've made a little little house that's adequate, good enough for now. Um, so, yeah, it's got a nice skylight. Let's uh, turn the time to day so you can see. There we go. Um, so I need, need to get the wrench. i to move these uh, around a little bit. Uh, I forgot that bit, didn't I? Uh, there we go. Um, and on under the crafting table, I expect there'll be a hole as well. Oh no. Okay, um, so we're going to get the generator. I'm going to put that down there. Um, extractor can go there. A bit of macerator there. That's gone to a machine block. See, the certainty of doing it is not 100%, but. There we go, so um, I'll just make that back into a machine block and I'll come back in a second. Okay, so there's our per uh, macerator and what I'm going to do now, because I've spaced them out, I need to link them up, so use a bit of copper cable. Oh! My pickaxe will get rid of that. Copper, copper cable to link them up. Gonna need some coal to power it. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. Oh, I can go in there. So that's okay. Um, and all that stuff's here. Let me just sort the sound. There we go. Um, so that's that so that's how to move things around um, next thing we need to do I reckon we could have a go at making hmm what could we make what could we make I reckon we should have a go at a electric furnace yes why not let's have a go um, so Oh, actually, an iron furnace would be better for now. Um, so to make a iron furnace, you need to make five pieces of iron. Uh, have we got any here at all? There's two. So we'll macerate this first. Just because it's easier to do, you know, we get double the wield from it. And also we will... Uh, so, to make, yeah, you need to make an iron one and then upgrade it to a electric furnace. So, it's very uh, worthwhile to do. So, we need to make another circuit board. So, we need some more refined iron we can get from here. Okay, let's cook this up. Um, I never put my furnace back down, did I? No, I didn't. There you go. So, let's cook that up. I only need one, actually. So that's that. Six pieces we'll uh, cook in a second. Pop that in there. So it's refined iron. And then we need to make some more copper cable. Unless we've got enough. I don't think we have. Uh, three. No, that's not enough. So we've got some rubber. Need some more rubber. Okay, I'm going to get some more rubber. So, um, you know, we can use the extractor. It's easy, easier, easier, much far more easier to do it this way. I mean, you probably wield more if you use a tree tap, but this will do for now. It's good as good as anything. So that's that. Okay, um, so all good. So Generator's holding up. Rubber. 
need uh, two more, I believe. One more. So that's that. How's our iron going? Iron's cooked. So to make a iron furnace, this is the recipe. Need to put my crafting table down. Bloody rain off. Um, so you need to do the following. Make like a odd pattern with that, and put the furnace at the bottom. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's kind of like the leggings, but without the top, left and right corners. So it's an iron furnace. Uh, this requires power, so what I'll do is I'll pop it down here and then link those together. No. Um, so what we'll do for the moment, let's get the wrench and pop it right in front of it. Uh, actually, that's a load of balls because it's um, powered by coal. <laughs> so, that's that. Um, okay. So, rubber. Need some more copper. Copper, copper, copper. Where are you, copper? Copper. Not a police officer. Not that kind of copper. Um, but a different kind of copper. Okay, so once we've made that, we can make our copper cables once that's done. We need two. I believe. We need four, rather. Okay, that's that. So let's get cooking. Should cook at a slightly higher speed than the normal standard furnace. One. Two. Uh, sorry, it's cooking now. Um, once we've upgraded to an electric furnace, what you do is you put a redstone torch by it and it powers so much. It's got so much power. It melts things in literally no time at all. So it's absolutely awesome. So, more copper cable. Don't use coal, use rubber. <laughs> there we go. More cables. Make yourself a... Oh, let's grab the redstone. Make yourself some more of the circuit board. Okay. And then we need to do the following. Grab this furnace. Uh, machine block. Need a wrench. Take it off. Iron furnace. So, iron furnace in the middle. Electron circuit above. Two rests on either side. It's our electric furnace. Um, this does need power from another source, so for now we'll put it there. Use a bit of copper cable to uh, power it up. Like that. Let you find this. If you put a redstone torch next to it, it will, uh, you see there's a... Um, sorry, that's, no, that's wrong. Um, you don't need any coal for it because it comes from the generator. So that's good. So I will demonstrate. Let's put something in it. So you can just see the speed. Quite a lot different to the uh, normal ones. Got quite a brisk pace. So that's good. Put this in there. And then the upgrade from that is... Um, induction furnace, that's the one. Um, so once we've got a... What on earth is going on with my controls? I'm not pressing anything on the keyboard right now. That's rather odd. Stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we can get to an induction furnace and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll have a B 
beast of a furnace that means we uh, just use a redstone torch to keep the heat on it and that means it will never um, it will never have a cooldown period which means it will burn stuff burn through stuff it's like it's awesome um, so that's that so yes so next time I will look at a new power new source of power um, the generator is just not going to cut it for the stuff we want to do now so we can modify this to a new upgraded one and we'll take a look at an induction furnace maybe as well so yes thanks for watching this episode and hopefully you've all been following along and you understand a little bit more about this and it's helped you hopefully so yes thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next episode <laughs>